further out we go, actually the more dysfunctional we become and the greater the imbalance. Um, because we actually all rise from center. So imagine if you tip the weight of a wheel to the periphery, what happens? It's off kilter. So this is what's happening to us individually and collectively. We are completely off kilter because we are not coming from our centre. We are not existing in our centre. We're not aware or connected of our very own centre. We've been conditioned to behave as if outside is somehow the greater authority. Outside has the answers. And this is the furthest thing from the truth. The answers always come from, from within each and every one of us. Existence is arising from centre. So if we don't have a relationship with this centre in ourself, then everything is going to be off kilter. And as he said, you know, the very fact that there's such a melee of confusion and conflict, there's so much noise and so much spin, so many different ideas and stories and, you know, everything is polarised. We look outside and all we get is this polarised debate, polarised opinions. And none of that is supporting us to experience any healing, uh, any restoration. And so, of course, ultimately, we're left with nothing but ourselves. We have to come back to ourselves. And if we look throughout all the ages of wisdom, every great philosopher, every great psychologist, every great wisdom teacher has said the same thing, that a better world begins with us, ourselves, the individual. We are what we have been looking for.